kids, Miss Kulkarni here. In this video, let's begin with some gas loss calculation. And here are some important steps to keep in mind. The very first thing, you always look for the given and list them. And pretty much, I look for some numbers. Because numbers are the one which I'll be using in my problems. Then make sure to check the units temperature must be always in Kelvin and of course make sure volume pressure these two units they are same on both sides in gas laws then you get of course the equation then we plug and chug and then we calculate and of course you will get the correct answer so here is our first problem and that is all which is given to us, the one which is in red. Also, this is given, the pressure and amount is remaining constant. So, for any gas law problem, I always like to write down all values of pressure, volume and temperature. No matter if they are same or they are different. And then, find out if I need to do some conversion. So, it's 5.20 sample of gas. That's volume. It's coming first. So I am going to write down that as my volume V1. The next one is temperature. And the very first one which comes will be my temperature over here. So I put that 25 degrees. Now keep in mind that's in Celsius. So before I forget, I can write down plus 273. So that way I get the answer in Kelvin. Then this is the temperature which is the final temperature so that is T2 and that will be 100 plus 273 and that will be the answer which I get in of course Kelvin and now what I need to find out I need to find out the volume in liters so I need to find out that answer about the pressure it says the pressure is constant and of course the amount also is constant so you can just say pressure equals P P1, P2 both equals P or they are cancel them. Let's begin writing our formula and I always use the combined gas law formula P1, V1 over T1. If the amount is same that means number of molecules N is same. So I am not going to use that and then this is P2, V2 over T2. So pressure is same equals P1 and P2 equals P so I cancel that and then I am going to just plug and check but before that let's find out the values which we have this is 298 and I believe this is 373 so when we plug in the values this is 5.20 divided by 298 and that comes if I don't know how much is the volume that is X divided by 373. When we solve for x, the value which we get is 6.51 liters. Here is another problem and these are all the given values. Let's list those in our table and then find out which law we can apply. So we have here the first pressure beginning with 702. So let's get that. At a temperature of 54 degrees, so you pretty much know you need to add 273 to make it into Kelvin, which comes out to be 327. And then the volume of the gas under the conditions is 3.21. So we got V1. 3.21 liters. What was the original volume? That means we need to find out another volume that V1, V2 has nothing to do with initial and final. It is just a different set of values. And then what else is given to us? The temperature is given 20 degrees. So that will be 20 plus 273 and that comes out to be the answer is 293 Kelvin. And look at the pressure. 
the pressure is 702 so although pressure is given twice if you look carefully it is the same value so we don't really need to have that pressure let's get our combined gas law and keep in mind unless it's given number of moles will be same so we put the combined gas law and now pressure P1 P2 are same so let's cancel that so basically our law is V1 over T1 equals V2 over T2 when you plug that what do we get 3.21 divided by 327 and this will be x divided by 293. So what is the x value? If you calculate x, that will be 2.88 liters. Now in both the problem which we saw, we had pressure remaining constant. Which law was that? If you remember, that was Charles' law. So we got our first set of problems done. Don't you think it's easy? In our next video, we will move on different gas laws. I will see you then. Bye.